You know what's pissing me off these days? What is it, honey? Latino underrepresentation. Uh oh. All right. Even on this show, where everyone here is Latino, uh -huh. I feel that we're still underrepresented. Right, come on. Uh -huh. And that brings us to today's True. big, big deal. deal. Today, we have to make a big deal about Latino representation again. It's kind of like that weird smell in the office microwave. You wouldn't have to keep bringing it up if someone would just do something about it. So here's three signs Latino representation in TV and film is still a problem. First, we're still falling behind. A report by Columbia University Center for the Study of Ethnicity and Race found that Latino participation in the entertainment industry is lower than it was 70 years ago. So as far as Latinos in front and behind the cameras, we've actually fallen behind. Second, there aren't enough roles for Latinos. In 2016, a study found that even though Latinos make up about 17.4% of the US population, out of 11,000 or more speaking characters surveyed in film and TV, only 5.8% were Hispanic or Latino. Finally, Latinos were missing at the 2017 Emmys even after Diego Luna landed a role in Star Wars. Even after Lin-Manuel Miranda's inspiring Tony Award speech. And even after the hashtag Oscar So White controversy, not a single Latino actor, director, producer, or writer was nominated for an Emmy in 2017. So listen up, Hollywood. Stop ignoring us like you ignore that whistling noise Matthew McConaughey makes when he speaks and start celebrating our diversity. We do it every day on the zoo. And you know what? It's working. So get with the program, SA. So, we clearly are underrepresented. Hello. No, but seriously, I mean, when, when, when you see the stats, it's, you know, we see all these social justice movements on behalf of a lot of communities, right? right. You know, we see, you know, the African-American community, Black Lives Matter, yeah. they're talking right. about the social injustice, especially when it comes to police brutality and the way they're handled by the cops. But I just feel that Latinos, we're not getting, you know, what we're supposed to be getting in terms of like this fight. We make up between 15 and 17% of the total population of America, yes. and we were three to 5% of speaking roles on TV and film, no nominations for the Emmys behind or in front of the camera. Few roles in frequent stereotypes. Like these right. are all actual facts. And I, I, I read some of them only because it's important to have the actual numbers of things. And, and you're right about that. And it's no Latino actors or actresses lead or co-lead of any of the top 100 films in 2016 alone. And then none zero, which means to me, we are facing a big problem. Okay, so what are we doing wrong? Because uh, my maybe, African American we're not doing enough, that's I mean, what it is. For starters, we have a president that doesn't like us. I would yeah. say that would help our cause in a lot of ways, but... but uh, I doubt it. I mean, but, well, the Oscar's I not think, so white or well, why, why, why are African Americans, LGBT people, even Asians getting, um, you know, representation? Some, in some ways, they're even getting over-representation if you look at the numbers. Well, I feel and like there's a lot under. of people of color, you know, doing the work behind the scenes, people of power. And although we do have networks like LATV that, you know, do have uh, Latino execs and whatnot, uh, maybe we need more people, you know, you know, exactly. Behind, behind, absolutely. Behind We're not telling your own stories. And, you know, I think that's a, a big issue, and I always hear it amongst a lot of Latino celebrities. And there's something else, and I speak as a Latin person myself. Mm -hmm. um, I believe that we also need to come together as a community because one of the problems that we face usually in Latin America or in my country specifically as well, it's very hard for us to come together as a society, like yeah, that's what as I was a say. team. So we need to start supporting each other. And I think we're getting there and we're kind of like towards that direction where, you know, we're creating our own content and we right. are supporting each other and the community and the Latin, you know, and the guests that we're gonna, that we keep having here show us some of that. But I think culturally we need to compete less and support each other more mm. as a whole. That's part of the problem, well, cultural. Let, let's get the millennial point of view. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I, I firmly agree with Vivian. I think it's rooted in this cultural difference where African Americans have an easier time coming together because a, a lot of them see themselves as African American, right. whereas Latinos were Colombian, any, anything Mexican, Colombian, Brazilian, mm -hmm. Venezuelan, and each culture has their own unique set of values right. and kind of things that go on. I also think that there just isn't um, not a lot of media attention in general about Latinos, like right. not enough, I think. A lot of it's just about immigration and right. illegals, but there's not enough about us, who we are as a people right. uh, and our culture. And a, a lot of culture has been kind of taken and reappropriated in mainstream culture. And we don't get credit for that, you know what I mean? But I think a lot of other cultures do. So it would be nice just to celebrate the Latin culture a little bit more and that could lead to 
stuff happening in the movies too. Well, when you talk about differences in, in, in culture between Latin America, I mean, Latin America is a lot like Europe, but Europe has their different languages and cultures Correct. that differentiate them. Um, I think in Latin, I think that people who are non-Latino are very ignorant to the dynamics within Latin America and uh -huh. they get lost in totally. it. Totally. And I Perhaps, think that if yeah. they understood some of the nuances between us, that they would be able to Absolutely. digest our stories and the facts that we come in all shades, <laughs> we come from all backgrounds, we're actually several different races mixed into one community, right. and that's an asset, but it tends to be a divider amongst yourselves and a confusion of people outside our community. Yeah. And oh, I yeah. think that education Oh my goodness, there's been so things. much talk about, you know, Afro-Latinos and how, education. you know, they, you know. I get it all the time, you're not Latina enough, really? What do I need to do? Like, I need to be... A chunk, if it's not like, because you know. you're too brown, then you're not brown enough, then you're not tall enough, then you're not... Whatever. You need to dance salsa.